In Beverly, a 147-year-old institution finds new ways to open doors for students with communication challenges. My name is Anthony. At this high school in Danvers, vocational training is reaching new heights. And in Newton, a completely new take on homeschooling. We want students who say, I want to decide how I learn, when I learn, what I learn. Is this the future of education? We're going new school tonight on Chronicle. This is Chronicle on WCBB Channel 5. Essex North Shore is an agricultural and technical school, and we serve over 1,700 students around 53 different communities. To be fair, daily life at Essex Tech isn't quite as musical as this collaboration with Express Yourself Inc. and choreographers from the off-Broadway show, Stomp. But even without a tap solo on the work table, Superintendent Heidi Riccio says this high school is different. Vocational education is different. As soon as these kids enter us in grade nine, we teach them that we are training them for the workforce. I wanted to go to a vocational school for high school and my parents wouldn't let me because they said that's where the boys go to learn a trade. Flash forward to 2023, like everything else, it changes. So the workforce has changed, the needs of the workforce has changed, and kids have changed. And so has the demand for this kind of education, explains principal Shannon Donnelly. We are a public school, but there is an application process. We have far more applicants than we have seats. To understand why so many kids want to come here, you need only tour the sprawling campus, which recently underwent a $134 million renovation. We're very fortunate to have this beautiful building. We have three cafeterias, a media center, full gymnasium and indoor track. The campus also houses Angel at Essex, a full service veterinary clinic that partners with Essex Tech to provide quality animal care while training the next generation of veterinary professionals. The veterinary industry is desperate for professionals and we are able to get students graduating at 18 years old. They have medical training and they already earn a credential that's recognized and valued in the industry. Something that they would maybe have to do two years of college to get, they're able to get it in high school. I'm gonna have you guys put your um, surgical PPE on. So that we can Jennifer DeForge is a certified vet technician and clinical instructor at S. Tech. A graduate of a vocational program herself, she has seen firsthand the explosion of options now available for her students, especially young women. I graduated with a cosmetology license, but I wish there was something like veterinary science when I was in school. I would have done that in a heartbeat. Essex Tech senior Savannah White has embraced both the opportunities here and the style of learning. The more traditional classroom space was always kind of difficult for me because I really love the hands-on portion and I felt that coming to a school like this was able to get me the hands-on approach that I wanted and so that was really exciting. Equally as exciting is the fact that she's turned this experience into a real paying job. So now I'm getting paid above minimum wage out in the workforce which is amazing. Success stories are common here, and the reason is as simple as supply and demand. Essex Tech is training students in fields starving for qualified employees. Many of our culinary students will go on either to culinary school or will go directly into work in the culinary field. Our dental students, many of them are out on co-op as seniors working in local dental offices, and many do go on into the dental field as well. They also have the Larkin Project, an active construction site where students like junior Morgan Costa are rebuilding, plumbing, and wiring the second oldest building on campus. It's really exciting to be part of the experience because we'll get to see this building and we'll get to know that we did something to it. You know, we can walk in and we can realize that we had an impact on it. Though 70% of Essex Tech students will go to college, Superintendent Riccio says that's not her priority. If college is a pathway, that's great, but at the end of your college, you have to have a career. You have to earn money. So our mission in vocational education is not to prepare the kids for college, but to prepare them for work. And as a result of preparing them for work, they're also prepared for college. 
Essex Tech also runs a program called Nighthawks. It is a night and weekend program for local adults to learn a trade. Many of those programs are tuition free thanks to state funded grants. Vocational education has surged in popularity in Massachusetts and many schools have waiting lists. Some local officials want the state to develop a lottery system so that all students get an equal chance at scoring a seat, preventing schools from considering criteria such as attendance or grades. Coming up, an alternative to homeschooling.